athletes that we're talking about are unlikely to go on to some of the elite professional athletics. But so I came across a story, um, uh, it was a few days old now, as an update. And so there was this religious school in Vermont that decided to forfeit a girls basketball tournament because the opposing team had a transgender student on their roster. Now, I'm not sure if the transgender person was just on the bench, if they were playing, whatever the case may be, these girls on this team decided to say, no, thank you. We don't want to do that. And they forfeited the, the game. Now, the update to the story is the Vermont Principals Association issued a swift and sweeping penalty against uh, White River School Junction, banning it from all competitions. So that means not just the basketball team, any other of their sports programs or sports teams that they have at this school are banned from further uh, competitions due to this, which is crazy. This school has a population, I think uh, I saw of like 94 students. It's a, it's a small private school. They're going to be taking the side of one individual student over the 94 other students. And this is the girls basketball team. These girls don't feel comfortable playing with the other, uh, with, with this transgender person. Then they have a right to, to not play. Now, if they don't want to play, yes, they forfeit. But I don't think the rest of the school should be banned from all competition. But anyways, I found a, a longer version of like this story on CNN, so I'm gonna play that video now. Our laws, while a handful of blue states are doing the exact opposite, enforcing laws that protect the ability of trans people who want to participate in athletic programs consistent with their gender identity, not the sex that they were assigned at, at birth. Vermont is one of those states, CNN's Bryn Gingrass is there, where one private Christian parochial school has been barred from competing in all sports after the girls' basketball team there refused to play against another team that had a transgender athlete. Vermont, one of the country's most progressive states, publicly debating a controversy involving kids that one state lawmaker says left her with disappointment in the adults. It happened in State Senator Rebecca White's district. Mid-Vermont Christian School forfeited a state tournament girls basketball game because the opposing team had a transgender player on its roster. The school arguing a, quote, very real issue of safety was at play. What followed? A swift and sweeping penalty against the school's athletic program by the state's governing body, the Vermont Principals Association. It banned the high school from all competition in all sports moving forward. Is that a bridge too far? No. I, I don't think it's a bridge too far. The athletes that we're talking about are unlikely to go on to some of the elite professional athletics. But that concept of discriminating against another young person, it causes long-term outcomes for trans youth because they're hearing rhetoric that is telling them that they're not valuable, that in fact they're dangerous. The VPA said the high school violated the state's policy of support of transgender student athletes and building an inclusive community for each student to grow and thrive. In response, Mid-Vermont Christian School wrote that it would be appealing the decision, adding, Canceling our membership is not a solution and does nothing to deal with the very real issue of safety and fairness facing women's sports in our beloved state. These are kids. Kids should not feel like they're being ostracized and pushed away because of who are they are just figuring out who they are. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely the worst thing you could do to a child, no matter if they're 8 or 18. In their case, it's more than an opinion. It's more of a... Uh, a religion. I mean, they're they're a Christian school, and they feel um, that their beliefs are being um, pushed aside. The Mid Vermont Christian School refused an interview with CNN, as did the school they originally refused to play against. But the on-court controversy has reignited debate about the inclusion and equity of transgender athletes. If they choose not to play that team, then they should absolutely forfeit but it's, it's wrong to carry that over to other members of their community and the team, other teams of the school. Last year, the NCAA, the governing body for collegiate athletics, updated its policies on the issue, landing on a sport-by-sport -sport approach. 
At the high school level, guidance on participation changes state by state, according to the latest data from the advocacy group GLSEN, with 25 states placing bans or restrictions on trans or non-binary athletes from playing. Vermont is one of only 10 states which are fully inclusive, something White says the states worked hard for. We're an inclusive state, we're a welcoming state. So it doesn't surprise me that we've had a situation where folks are pushing back against some of that inclusive work that we've done because it is innovative, it is bold, and it's important. And separate from sports, in fact, Vermont is reaffirming its commitment to transgender youth, Jake, by passing a shield law in one chamber of its legislature just last week, which will safeguard gender-affirming uh, treatments done in the state, like surgeries and hormone therapies. Jake. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I found that extremely insulting that the lady Rebecca White or whatever her name was, the senator, the Democrat person, it blatantly just says, yeah, these girls, you know what? They're not going to go anywhere. They don't have any, like, future in sports. So I don't think the ban is not justified. And then that guy blaming it on it being a religious school, that just takes away anything that these women or these girls have to say because they're just going to label them under bigotry or bigots because, of the, because they are religious. Women who aren't religious don't want to play against men. Like, this isn't crazy. I don't understand why these people are so messed up. Like, what world are we in where we're, again, catering to the one, the minority over the majority? Anyways, as always, you guys let me know about this, uh, what you guys think about this story, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.